it is me, it is Becca, and I look ridiculous, so I'm going to take this off. We're going through some personality tests today, and, uh, you know, filling in some details of uh, what's my character like. This video will probably be a good one to watch if you're new around here, so I might even put it as my channel trailer. Uh, if you are starting your own channel, or if you just have a channel, uh, I would recommend trying out this video. To start off with, of course, I am going to tell you what is my Hogwarts house. Now, I unfortunately didn't get the privilege of going to Hogwarts. I really wanted to when I was 11, but I did have the chance to get sorted by the sorting hat through the Pottermore website, and it turns out that I am a Ravenclaw. Ravenclaw's value over all other things intelligence, knowledge, and wit. So I am the kind of person who tries to be clever and my idea of humour is puns. I like coming up with solutions to things and um, basically being a know-it-all. I'm sure that most of you will know this next one, the Myers-Briggs personality types. I am an INTJ. If you don't know, the Myers-Briggs personality types are basically four categories in which you choose one or another and you end up with four letters. I've written down some notes. It's very Ravenclaw of me to do this. Either you'll end up introverted or extroverted, censoring or intuitive, thinking and or feeling, and judging or perceiving. I feel that the idea of being introverted or extroverted, for me, it doesn't work, and I'm actually borderline. So I could perhaps be a BNTJ. I'm introverted because when I'm working, and when I want to concentrate, I like to be creative and I need the freedom to claim all of the project so that I can do everything my own way. But when it comes to socializing, I am an extrovert. I totally value other people's perspectives. Other people are also great for bouncing ideas off of and, um, you know, just sharing and uh, being in a group about something. But when you can hear two different conversations going on in the room at once, I tend to switch off and basically fall asleep. Um, I can't be in a room where there is too much going on. So that is why essentially I am an introvert, but I do enjoy other people's company. Why I am an intuitive type, it's because I like to see the big picture. I like to think about um, planning ahead and seeing everything as one. I'm not a feeler, I'm a thinker because I like to think of things objectively uh, and I like to weigh the pros and cons and I value honesty, consistency and fairness. I am not a feeler however because I'll bring it back to Steve Jobs when he went into the Mac lab he fired a whole bunch of people that weren't going to be good for the project of creating the Macintosh. Um, and I would be totally on board with doing something like that. I am not going to hold other people's feelings over top of the productivity of the system that I'm trying to create or the project that I'm trying to complete well. In my perfectionism, I tend to be very critical. Why I am judging and not perceiving? I have to have my options closed. I don't want my options open. I will usually go with whatever idea I like first, which, you know, may mean that better options that are out there I'm not going with. I just really can't spend a lot of time waiting for more ideas to come. Uh, I'm a judger because I need to be organized and prepared. I like to make plans and stick to them. And uh, I am comfortable following most rules. I like to have structure. This is coming into play 
with my wedding for sure. I've got a lot of things done already and I'm already making the playlist for the reception. And it's in six months yet. So <laughs> I am an INTJ for sure. My trauma response, flight, fight or freeze, I'm a flighter. If I'm in a situation that I don't like, I'm just gonna leave. That tends to be how I deal with conflict, is to just get out of there. Or when a situation is just too hard or messy, I want to take a step back. And usually I find that that's a good thing, because it means that I can go away and think about it. This was one of my favourite books growing up, The Treasure Tree. And this is a story about four friends who are on a mission. There is the beaver who is planner and uh, the one who likes everything organized. The golden retriever, she is the one who's caring for everybody else and making sure that things are fair. The otter is the fun-loving creature who wants everybody to have enjoyment in what they're doing. And the lion is the leader, the one who takes control and um, is the brave one. I believe I'm actually a lion, but I do it with beaver tendencies. So I like to be in control and I like to be organized. Dress your truth. This is a system that was developed to understand better how you should cater your wardrobe, the colors that you like and the shapes that you like and the ones that actually fit better with your personality. I am a four because I like straight lines and boxes and stripes. Um, that is something that you might not know about me. My truth dressing is a four. I don't necessarily know that this is a personality type, but my love language is quality time. And that is through the dialect of conversation. And then I am a touch with the specifics on hugs and then gifts or words of affirmation. I struggle. I struggle so hard to make up the right thing to say when it's somebody's birthday or, you know, just when you're trying to say something sentimental. I, it just, I get a block mentally and uh, it's kind of cringe so I like to give a gift instead. My element, I don't know where this comes into play in life but uh, a test I did says that my element is air. I am also an Aquarius because my birthday is on the 21st of January and that also has the element linked to it of air. I'm wondering what is the difference between zodiac and astrological signs? Um, if somebody is watching this and they know what the difference is, comment down below and explain it to me because uh, I'd like to know. Um, but otherwise I don't really follow a horoscope or I don't let the alignment of the planets uh, tell me what to do with my life. Control the elements that you can control and yourself is the biggest one. Something that helps you to understand how another person works is if they are a polymath. That is the kind of person who wants to know everything about everything and how everything connects to everything. I am wishful on the idea that I'd be a polymath uh, just because I do have an interest in basically everything and uh, being a know-it-all. Okay. Another typing that somebody can have is whether or not they are HSP, highly sensitive person. This is uh, I think 15 to 20% of the population. They have a higher sensory response to elements around them than other people. So brightness and loudness, they react strongly and uh, it can be 
really kind of hard being a highly sensitive person, which I am. There is a long list of things that being highly sensitive affects in my life. And uh, if you do want me to share those, I could. But uh, it is kind of personal. However, I do have it all written down somewhere, so it could be a post or a video. My learning method, be it kinesthetic, needing practical experience, or oral, uh, that is through hearing information be spoken, or through visual, through uh, seeing things explained in a video, or otherwise given diagrams. What my type is, uh, it's a mixture of everything. Everybody is a mixture of everything, but what is the best way for me, I find, is actually through listening. I am an oral learner. So this might explain why I really like to read aloud rather than just to myself. I used to be more of a visual learner because I liked to be quiet and do everything on my own. But if I do have my own space to read, uh, the listening to my own voice say the words that I'm looking at, doing it that way doubles up the a source of information that you have coming at you because you can hear it and you can see it as well. A very Christian kind of a typing to mention is my place in the body. This is talking about your giftings in either pastoring, teaching, serving or prophecy. But my giftings come through in prophecy. I get pictures when I pray for other people. They are quite metaphoric images and uh, sometimes they need translating and sometimes I don't know what that translation is but I tell the other person what I saw and it means something for them which is a really interesting way that God can communicate with us humans. <laughs> um, otherwise I tend to like teaching and uh, sharing information with other people. And last but not least, my Enneagram. And I am a number eight, the challenger. They are essentially unwilling to be controlled either by others or by their circumstances. Type eights want a lot out of life and feel fully prepared to go out and get it. Or at least I make sure I spend a lot of time getting myself prepared and then, yeah, I think I face things head on. When an eight does take someone into their inner sanctum, they find a steadfast ally and stalwart friend. So yeah, after a while, um, judging the situation and whether I do want to be friends with somebody, uh, they become quite close quite quickly. And in my critiques, I can be quite brutal. So there's my Enneagram. I'm the challenger of type eight. So, I hope you have enjoyed this video, getting to know me a bit better. If you want to do this video, leave me a link down below so I can watch it too. Or otherwise, make it a comment. I will have in the description all of these types and the tests if you want to do them. Other than that, if you haven't subscribed already, I would really love if you did. And I would appreciate a like on the video if you want to. I will see you in another video. And uh, goodbye.